Most people regard their legacy to the generations of family they leave behind. But where was mine? I had no one to pass anything on to. Through all of my thoughts of regret, I started to become more fixated on the idea that a legacy isn't just your family. We live on through other people and the ways we touch their lives. It was then that I had my answer. Hi Leos, welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. Um, before we start, just to give you guys a heads up, we had a uh, takedown, you know, it's like Instagram takes over. <laughs> no, I am very active in Instagram because it's, I just realized it's so fast there to upload. So I do my daily readings there for all Zodiac ahead of time because I just click record, no editing. Because here, if you're watching this, this, uh, this takes time to get uploaded here. So if you like readings, go there on Instagram, follow me, and then you go to IGTV, and then you just watch, you know, you watch it there, okay? So just to give you guys a heads up. So if you're not, if I'm not here in Instagram, the readings, all Zodiac, we have a daily, and we also, when you comment to the pictures there, if you have questions, I do answer, um, I pick some people um, for readings there, okay? It's my charitable Sal. Mm -hmm. It's on Instagram. So I'll see you there. Okay, now let's begin here for my Leos. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Let's see. Temperance, okay. Patience, hashtag, is a Dorian virtue. Okay. Can be reconciliation. Okay, so let's let's dissect this uh, this why you have to be patient right now. Because sun is in Gemini, in Sidereal, which is the true placement. It's right there. Mars is there. So it's it's heating up the natural third house um, of Gemini. When I say natural third house, you know it is the house of communication. It's Mercury ruled. Mercury already is in Cancer. So you could be acting emotional, which shows hotness, to become a hot mess. And then the other cup, which is the cold, which would be the other person. Because this is the yin and yang. Normally there is a dance between, you know, the dynamics of couples who's working out, right? You guys are never the same, but seem similar, but never the same. Almost in the same page, but never really. Okay. Again, the yin and yang. It's like water and oil will never mix, but it will find its uh, you know common thing, which is they're both uh, what malleable, like a liquid kind of thing, right? So both are fluid. Both will go to, go with the flow, provided that they stay on their lane, you stay on your lane. Okay, and that's how you guys can work the relationship. This is what it is, temperance. Okay. Let's see here. Got the moon card. And I said, okay, Mercury is in Cancer. The natural ruler for of a uh, house that moon rules is Cancer. So it can be you and this person right now acting emotional, unpredictable, right? The moon is our mind and, and our feelings. So right now there's a marriage that you have to put through and through that sometimes... It can be erratic, okay? Um, the moon also um, is a keeper of secret because there are things that are meant to be hidden. Um, you know, this can be a secret feelings towards you and they're not ready. Take some time, you know? It's not like we just come into a relationship and just express it. The moon is like that. It can be a concern. Now, the moon having, you know, uh, you're having the card here. It reflects of the needs of a person. This is also, you know, in astrology, we call it the Chandra Lagna. When we use the, the moon sign as your rising sign. Um, even I myself, when I use that, I can totally see how the person's mind works. What they do during the day. You know, and this is, I feel it, it is. Like there is something every day that this person is doing that you're trying to figure out. You're trying to understand them. Okay, it can be a moon in Sag. 
If it's a moon in Sag, forget it. You, you'll, you'll get lost trying to figure them out. Mm -hmm. Got a two of wands. There you go. Mm. <clears throat> this is how much you are in a pickle between this person. You don't know what to do. Mm. You see the two of wands? Totally. So I'm bonkers. I don't even know left or right. You know, should I leave this person? Should I stay? Deep feelings, of course. The moon shows that. Mm. Next to two of wands. Two of Wands is, of course, tools are decision, choices about partnership. Crossroads is right here. It's very evident. But no movement. Mm. You won't be able to have, to have the strength to move. With Devil card. Because you're scared to... Okay. To make the wrong move. Devil is fear. Saturnian. Okay. That's a Devil card. Capricorn energy. You're scared... Um, to commit a mistake by not working it with this person, which is true. Because first card strongest, which is a temperance, right? And then you already got the devil. There's hope because there's love. If there's hope, there's love. If there's love, there's hope. Both has to coexist, right? Because once you've given up, that's it, that's done. There's no more love, you give up hope. You will love them from a distance, then it's, or an, it's only a song. From a distance. The ocean meets the stream, right? Mm. Get a three of ones. Are you guys in a long distance relationship? That's why. If it's the ocean meets the stream. Both of you are scared to make a mistake. Mm. Both of you have fear for each other. Okay. Both of you mirror each other. Sometimes the other person will put effort. Sometimes the other person will put effort. But I see here that the other person has expectations that will, you know, that, that things will improve. Because the three of wands expect for the sun. Right now there's the moon. So it can show here that they're feeling as like, you know what? This is just for now. It's just a phase. Next to the three of wands, get a five of coins. So two people here, okay. You guys don't want to have this missed opportunity. Five of coins is a missed opportunity because it lost everything, right? It's a beggar. You guys don't want to lose each other. And that's a T. That's why the first card is to work the relationship. It can be about reconciliation also. But both hasn't made a decision. Both haven't expressed uh, their feelings. Okay? So I'm going to continue this reading. How the energies evolve between the two of you. These are for really non... Expectations that are there. But not really spoken. Five coins. Okay? Um, also, um, we do have a webinar coming for Saturn. Um, this is for people who are experiencing challenges in their life with regards to fear, which is Saturnian. Um, karma, you know, our life path also can show, um, because this is where our struggle is. Um, I will share the remedies that, uh, that um, I use myself, um, that I have learned also. I'll be teaching it there. It's live, and we've already done Venus and Jupiter. This one is Saturn. Um, so make sure you grab a spot for the class and it's coming in the next uh, three weeks, okay? And this is where you feel, where you're struggling, that's where Saturn is. And I will, ex I will help you um, gain some clarity on, your, uh, on the chart of, uh, you know, like in, uh, not as each individual, but you can ask me questions there, okay? Thank you very much, Leo, for watching. Bye. I'm not where I'm supposed to be. But there's so much noise around, so much noise around Constantly fighting for space I wanna be empty, be empty, be empty.